What's good everyone, it's Smudgy here, as you can see it is that time of the week, of the month, of the season again where we are going to be jumping into the reloaded side of the season, this time of course season 3 reloaded it is 80s action themed, there's a ton to cover so let's just jump straight into it. So of course May 20th, which is in two days as of filming, or two days as this video goes live as well, we will be seeing John McClane and Rambo drop into Verdansk and into Cold War. Obviously highly anticipated, very lucrative deal for Treyarch, and um, they probably pulled a hell of a lot of strings to get this through. And with it of course comes some operator bundles. You do have the Rambo operator bundle which is going to arrive at launch, and the Die Hard one also at launch. So expect to see both of these dropping on the 20th and um, I will have them covered within the bundle review series. There's, there's going to be a lot of content coming out over the next couple of weeks I feel because in Warzone as well we're getting some new points of interest. Now this essentially was expected, I think people were expecting more points of interest when the map um, got revamped essentially but it's good that they're getting in there. However, not only have the heroes of Die Hard and Rambo arrived in Verdansk, but they also brought some iron iconic locales with them changing wars and as we know it, but only for a limited time. So this is one, as you can see, um, a fairly big change, probably in downtown, hence the bank. Then of course you get survival camps as well, up by Summit, and then a CIA outpost. Um, in the aircraft hangars, so something to spice up the aircraft hangars, which is quite nice because they can be a bit just a bit dull. Lots of money, but nothing else really there. And then there is going to be a limited time mode. Essentially, they're really kind of flogging the 80s heroes as much as possible. Battle Royales were already intense action movie worthy matches within Warzone, but what if the intensity was dialed up to Hollywood extremes? You would get a power grab, a limited time mode that pits over 100 operators across select squad sizes in a battle for true badass protagonist supremacy. In power grab, operators will find the starting circle collapse is smaller than in tra traditional Verdansk. The circle collapse of five stages, there is no gulag to escape upon your death. Instead, revive your squad mates, or in the right to revive them by collecting dog tags similar to kill confirmed, every operator will drop one. These dog tags can also be found as rewards for completing contracts and in rare cases supply boxes. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the idea of this a lot. It kind of removes some of the... If you're playing with randoms, it removes some of the um, variability there. And then this reward bladder um, that it comes with includes a UAV respawn token, uh, advanced gas mask, specialist bonuses. So a ton in there that integrates a lot into this game mode. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. You also get a combat bow found in Verdansk or Rebirth Island. Um, if you've played Cold War you know this isn't the most effective thing in the world. I don't expect many people to be using it. You might get some few like some cool clips on TikTok and stuff but nothing major. The ballistic knife of course finally making an appearance and in Cold War itself we're getting two new multiplayer maps. Standoff the classic is coming. I'm super excited for this and then we're getting a multi-team launch map as well so that'll be quite interesting um, I don't think multi-team game modes have been given enough enough credit um, or enough love from the community because Treyarch has been putting a lot into them to be fair we are getting some new game modes we're getting a hard point work alongside your squad to catch hard points eliminate enemies in a race to gain 200 points or the most points before time expires Capturing a hard point will give you a movement speed boost um, and set your time to 30 seconds. Beware, these buffs come at the cost of your life. So a bit like, um, what's it called? Grind? It's not called Grind, is it? You're the one that's not Grind. Uh, cranked. But hard point version, essentially. Rambo's gun game is coming in week two. On its own, gun game can be fast and frantic. The rotation of 20 weapons get a serious boost in firepower as the combat bow, war machine, RPG and death machine get added. So they're just kind of switching it up to be more in line with Rambo. We're getting a multi-team elimination mode. Um, so if you are a big fire team player or you do like those multi-team modes, you know, there's a lot coming for you. It's just probably not the biggest player base in the world, which is a shame. We are getting some new medals, some action theme medals, which if you're a completionist within the game, that'll be interesting to you. 
Zombies, as always, I'm going to skim over because I don't play it, but we will cover it quite briefly. So we're getting new Outbreak content, new limited time modes. So the Dark Ether story is set to explode. You're getting a new main quest, Order World event, and more in Outbreak at launch. I'm sure if you are a Zombies fan, you will know about all of this already far better than I do. Cranked 2, No Time to Crank, will also be arriving and a new, cost, new custom mod support, mystery box weapons and weapon buffs at launch. So a lot going on in Zombies, I know the community has been crying out for it for a while now. We are getting new weapons as well, one of them is called the Baseball Bat. This will only be in Cold War and it's integrating into Warzone in Season 4, um, but when this does get released, because it is coming in launch week, I'll have a full video about how to unlock it quickly, um, so you don't have to buy the blueprint if you do want to kind of get on the grind with that. Then we are getting this pistol, which I'm very concerned about because it's it, everything about it screams it's going to be a new Psykov pistol and I don't think they'll nerf it as quickly. It's a fully automatic pistol. Need I say more? Because that went so well last time. There's also going to be a Action Heroes event to collect free player profile items, charms, stickers, arcade games, even weapon blueprints. Um, similar to the Hunt for Adler one, I'd imagine. Hopefully it will be a a little better. It can't be, can't be much worse, really, can it? Because that went so badly, they had to just give people the, give people the skin. That was really quite atrocious, actually. These challenges are themed around awesome new limited time content, include objectives like completing matches and specific playlists, or earning kills with a new combat bow kill streak in Warzone. Oh, good god! Complete all nine Black Ops Cold War challenges to unlock a semi-automatic tactical rifle and complete all nine of the Warzone challenges to get an awesome bolt action sniper rifle weapon blueprint. And then of course we're getting a ton of new bundles which I'm not actually going to go through purely because I will cover them as and when they appear in the store as always. And Rambo is uh, appearing within Call of Duty Mobile also. And if you didn't know this is actually going on today and tomorrow, uh, Nade Shots and Invitational within Warzone so do make sure to keep an eye out for that if you are a fan of Warzone tournaments. And these are the update sizes. You can pause this and look at this yourself. Um, I'm not gonna, not gonna kind of go over it too much. I'm sure you guys can read. Um, down here, you'll also see that Black Ops Cold War physical copy owners will be able to delete the on disc DLC that they are currently not using from the console to free up space, which has um, very much been asked for quite repeatedly now. And with that. That is where we're going to leave it today. There's a ton of content coming. Um, apologies for the late uploads on this. I just I wasn't in when the update or when the um, roadmap drops. But I will be around for the next couple of days and the weeks coming for all the updates. It's going to be a frantic few weeks, but I'm looking forward to it. As always, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you want to find your way back. Hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.